all right um i'm making this video of about this uh, power supply for high fidelity audio amplifier and i am basically a uh, documented the, making a documentation about this probably this will be helpful for other uh, designers out there of audio amplifiers so today is March 12 2017 and I'm going to show you the simulation of sorry about that of this circuit it has a double bridge rectifier and uh, it's unusual because it has a uh, fuses that feed uh, each individual a uh, bridge rectifier so I think that's a great idea because I think I saw that on the book J ran this long so that's a really good idea so the difference here is that uh, you are not going to use the center tap from the toroidal or power transformer that you have to use it as a ground. So this is different because the center tap is not going to be created on the transformer. So usually we attach the two uh, ending or, or the two windings to create one center tap. But on this case, you are not creating a, a center tap. The, the only thing you could do is use two individual windings of the of the toroidal transformer or maybe any other type of a transformer that has two windings from the secondary. So this is the design, this is the original design. It's kind of fussy, a little bit difficult to read, but I, I saw the, the difference here is that the you will feed uh, you can see the windings here hold on, hold on you see the windings here one and two so this one is feeding this uh bridge rectifier and the other winding is feeding this other but you you will see the difference here the cattle of these two diodes they are uh connected to the positive rail as you can see here and the anode the two anode of this bridge rectifier is connected to the other bridge rectifier but you will see the difference here is that the two cattle or the second uh, bridge rectifier is connected so to create a ground so basically it's the ground so this this connect is connected to the other one up there so on the first uh, simulation i connected and on, uh, on the wrong way or what's different so i i follow this one here as you can see it creates its own ground to create basically a virtual uh, center tap ground basically so you are not going to use the amplifier is not going to be connected directly to any of the the ac winding so we know that we create a center tap to use it as ground for audio amplifier but in this case it's going to be different we're not going to have uh, any of the ground from the amplifier connected to any of the AC windings of the amplifier so for example this is the simulation that we have here this is I try to follow the best I can this is schematic so it's not complete I just I just completed uh, some other stuff as you can see it has a fuse this is one uh, to represent the winding this is 60 Hertz it can be also 50 Hertz remember yeah it has to be 50 Hertz because uh, Anyway, 50, 60 hertz. So one sample, uh, this is one winding. Uh, I call it the secondary one. And the other one is secondary two. It has a few filtering, the first filtering and the fuse. This is the first one, the fuse. Uh, bridge rectifier one is this one here. And bridge rectifier two is this one. Uh, it looks about the same, but uh, you will see the, the cattle the two cattle of these connecting right here is connected to this ground as you will see and uh, i will see if you follow the green line is is connected to these two anodes from the bridge rectified so on the image you will see that it's like this it's backwards you see it's backwards on, on this uh, drawing but it's fine the only thing you gotta do is just follow the the connection so right now we have two cathodes and these are connected to the anodes from the first uh, bridge rectifier it's not that difficult so i just leave it i just leave it like that it's okay it's not as long as it's correctly connected it's fine so 
So that creates a sort of like ground, a, a virtual ground basically, because we are not using any of the AC uh, windings from the power transformer. So I'm going to show you uh, something really interesting. Uh, let's see Antex. Uh, I think I, I, I left the cap on upper case uh, upper letter something like that upper case um okay so let's look for that so i, I, I really wanted to uh make this video so to have it as a reference so for myself also so so i don't forget because sometimes it's good to make the videos so uh when you make videos you will have an idea but trying to Put in the, the the thinking and thoughts, thinking, you know, thinking. So we have this uh, power transformer. You can see it has two windings. Uh, we got the 45 and 45. So it's green and blue, green and blue. So basically, uh, usually we uh, I, I gotta I gotta zoom here so you guys can see. Usually, I always uh, basically connect these two wires to create the center tap or tap central in spanish for the ground so on this circuit and none none of the ac uh, voltage is going to be present on any of the ground from the uh, power transformers so only it will have the ground from the bridge rectifier so it's going to be really uh, a clean uh, noise 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 free a uh, power supply so that's the idea of having this circle like that uh, on the for audio amplifier how high class high fidelity audio amplifier so uh, we found the information on the website so i was able to do it and uh, i have plans to create a new uh power supply but that power supply it will have also that option if i don't want to use the two bridge rectifier i can just use the jumpers to create it's just a simple power supply to have a, a center tap ground connected to the as ground you know to create a center tap. yeah the center tap to explain you guys probably you are confused what the hell are you talking about center tap what what okay i'm gonna explain you to create a center tap for an audio amplifier you will, the only thing you gotta do is just connect the blue this blue uh wire and the other green wire so it will create a, a center tap for ground so we are going to use only one bridge rectifier we're going to use the green this one here and the blue bottom there to feed one single uh, bridge rectifier it's going so, sort of like like this one here one sample just to fit one single one but we need the other winding uh, we need to have a let me see I'm gonna show you the example hold on give me a second so it's better if I show you the example so it's so you don't get confused so this is usually we connect it in this matter and we are gonna have the bridge just one single a uh, hold on back, sorry about that guys one single bridge rectifier this one here and we're gonna feed it one winding don't worry about it we can fix it it's okay there you go but having the two uh, AC the two AC uh, cables connected it, it creates problems and noise on audio amplifiers so yes I was reading a lot about that <laughs> so this is the center tab that I was talking about so the two windings does create a, a center tab center tab for the one sample I'm going to place just a few capacitors uh, let me see component I need a capacitor let's go with the 22,000 microfarad capacitor so let's do that I'm gonna place it here control R to rotate it as you can see control R to rotate the component and we're going to just make another one I'll make another one for 44,000 capacity uh, microfarad microfaradios so we're gonna do that this is the what we usually do. God leave. 
what we usually do for no, uh, you know, simple audio amplify. So it's, this is the connection that we are going to do to, and then the center tab is this one here. So what I'm gonna do? So I don't, re I really don't need to place a, a wire. I don't think I gotta do it. Just place the ground. So this is the center tab. This one right here. So we're gonna place the multimeter right here. This is the multimeter. And we need to another multimeter to measure the voltage. Uh, this is going to be different because we need the polarity of this one to measure the negative. And this one is going to be connected here. So we're going to measure the, the voltage. So now this one here is going to be connected to the to the negative rail for the audio amplifier. So this is the normal, most common uh, power supply that I always use also. I use this, this design too. As you can see, really simple. Uh, the two windings, two wires will create a center tap here, and then it's going to be connected here because the capacitor, they are connected in series. So this connection here, this is the center tap. So that's where you're going to connect all the ground for the speaker and the audio amplifier. So we're gonna measure this one. Uh, one sample, we've got 45 volts. This is the positive and this is the negative. So I'm going to activate it. So we have basically the same thing. I, you see, we got 62 volts positive up there and negative 62 volts from the, and this is the ground right here. So we have, this is a simple, what we are used to, we are used to this type of, of single, one single bridge rectifier. But on this case, the windings of the, the transformer, they are not going to be in touch or connected to the uh, amplifier circuit. So it's going to be isolated from AC uh, signals or, the, or noise or distortion, something like that. Uh, I know on the information on the website is more, uh, it has more accurate information though, than what I say right now, because maybe I'm, I'm just saying the brief this description of this circuit. So I'm going to show you uh, the idea that I have. Uh, I got to take a break because I've been doing this four hours, <laughs> I think. So I'm going to show you the idea that I have of a new uh, power supply for high high fidelity audio amplifier. Maybe I, I'm not an engineer, like I gotta mention that I am I am not an engineer and just a fanatic, hobbyist. So if I'm making, if I'm doing something wrong, let me know uh, on the description down below. This video is fine, it's okay. I mean, I'm not expert, whatever, it's okay. I, I mean, I'm not gonna get upset because of that. So I'm just a fanatic. So this is the idea that I have. It's not complete, it's just a draft. So. This is the idea that I have, you can see, sorry, but I repeat that word again many times. So as you can see, this is the winding, winding one, winding two. We got the first bridge rectifier. We had the diffuse, really important. I'm going to explain you that right now before I forget. Okay, one sample, I was looking at the, the old, this old schematic of the high fidelity audio amplifier power supply. So I was thinking, okay, there is a reason why Makes sense, common sense. We had that fuse there in case the semiconductor, the bridge rectifier, for some reason, maybe time by passed by and the semiconductor is getting weaker and uh, it's something, maybe it's leaking or something, or maybe it just showed out for some reason. It just showed out for some reason. I was thinking, okay, the reason that we, we had that fuse right there in case the semiconductor goes in a short out mode. So it's going to be a short out or it's going to short circuit, basically short circuit. So basically I did the simulation already. This is a 15 amp fuse. I think it can be less. For now it's 15 amps. So this is the winding. Uh, let's say the for some reason, the, the one of the bridge rectifier goes bad. It goes bad. It goes to short out one for one sample. So I'm going to simulate that right now. And it's a bad, if you have this fuse here and we have a short out, the power transformer is going to get really hot. It might melt, it might create a fire, a fire hazard. So we need to have this safely in, in, a, in a, so you know that if something bad happened, the fuse just gonna blow re really quick and nothing's gonna happen with the audio amplifier. Everything is going to be fine and safe 
on the this design so right, right now I'm going to double click and I'm going to simulate a fault a short circuit let's simulate a short circuit like a one sample uh, let's do a short circuit from AC to AC1 just to see uh, how is the fuse is going to blow so right now I'm, I just enable that a uh, fault simulating one fault of the bridge rectifier I'm going to activate the simulation to see what happened this is a f uh, F3 the fuse F3 so let's see what happened uh, you see it took longer because it's a 15 amp fuse I think I, I this should be a 10 amp fuse I think let me, let me change it to a, a lower value uh, uh, amps fuse amps so protection so 10 amps this is, this is just an example it might be different so run some one more time we're going to activate a simulation and we we are simulating a damage a bridge rectifier with the show out let's see I think it's gonna blow yeah it's, it's gonna blow the fuse anyway it's gonna blow so that is a uh, help a safety feature that the, the PCB should have in case the bridge rectifier goes bad so you know that you're not gonna damage your expensive toroidal transformer they are kind of expensive so it will be really sad to have it a, a burn out a toroidal transformer you spend like $150 from the to a toroidal transformer so so that I think that's a good idea to have that a one sample that a uh, fuse there so that's the, that's why I place it here just to feed only only one only one winding should be is, is fine only one only one is needed because that's the one that is gonna blow just in case something something wrong uh, happen with the power supply so for now this is just a draft the idea I'm not I'm not I'm not sure if we can keep I think it should be a good idea to keep the bridge rectifier on the same PCB that, that's, that's what I'm thinking so for now uh, I'm going to continue later I'm gonna take a break <laughs> I spent a few hours thinking and redesigning everything one more time. So, uh, so I think it's the best choice to have the that particular uh, fuses there to protect the the power transformer because you don't want to burn out the power transformer. If something wrong happen, the fuses they are just a few cents. They, they they don't cost that much money. It's better to replace fuses than replace the entire a toroidal transformer so that's it i'm gonna cut the video i thought i hope this is uh, helpful uh, i will continue making more videos about this so so for now i'm going to be concent concentrating on the design of the uh, high fidelity uh, audio amplified power supply uh, so this is just a draft all right that's it <laughs> all right have a good uh, have a good day guys all right